Yo, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to be showing you a video on how to install LSPDFR for PC. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do is click the link in the description for LSPDFR. So, we're going to go to the website and we're then going to click download. We're going to hit download this file. We're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and hit agree and download. We're then going to be installing the LSPDFR 0498242 manual install zip. So go ahead and hit download. Scroll down, wait for a little timer to run out. Okay, cool. So that's download. Then going to go ahead and head over to script hook V. That is also required to play the mod. So we need to go over to script hook V, hit download. Go up here, press keep. Alright. Then we're also going to be downloading one more thing. The link will also be in the description. We will be downloading Simple Trainer for GTA 5, which is basically a mod menu. So go ahead and hit download. By the way, don't try to take any of these mods online because you will get your ass banned. Most definitely. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and minimize this now. Now you're going to need to find your directory for the game. So if you're on Steam, you're going to go to the Steam app. You're then going to go to Library. You're going to right click on GTA 5. Go to Properties. You're then going to go to Local Files and then Browse. It's going to pull up the main directory for GTA 5. That's where you're going to be putting mostly everything that has to do with a mod in this game. Unless you're using OpenIV, which I'll make a video on that later in the future. So now, what you're going to do, open up another file explorer. Go to downloads, take those three files that we just downloaded, drag them to your desktop, you can close out of that window now. Alright, so now you still have your, your Grand Theft Auto directory right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up LSPDFR first, ignore any WinRAR notifications. You are then going to go to plugins, right, and license. So this is very important. You are going to highlight everything in here. And you're going to drag and drop this into your main directory. So right now I already have all this. So if you click, if I click on plugins, I already have LSPDFR. I already have a lot of other shit you guys probably won't have. Um, but yeah, this, you just, you basically drag and drop all these files. So you just select them. Make sure you're in your main directory of the game. And then just drag them right into your main directory all right make sure you ain't selecting any folders or anything over here because you're gonna corrupt the game so that's how you install lspdfr now you're gonna need script hook v in order for that to run correctly so all you need to do with script hook v is you're gonna open it up ignore any winrar notifications click on ben now inside of ben you're gonna you're gonna select the top one you're gonna select the bottom one so you're gonna hold down control left control and then and then you would basically click on the top one and the bottom one you don't want the middle one because that's a that's another mob menu that you're not gonna want to use so you're not gonna use that one but anyway you would take these files and drag them right into your GTA 5 main directory that's how you install script hook V alright the next one is going to be simple trainer alright so what you do with the trainer is you can always read these readme's too if you're getting confused about anything it's ex you know to explain inside the readme but what you're going to want to do is take these two files and then drag and drop them into your GTA 5 main directory now that's going to give you all three of these mods that we discussed today all right LSPDFR latest version script hook v so that way it could operate correctly and then the simple trainer if you guys have any questions, you guys can always comment below, and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching this video.